when they first said he was autistic, the prognosis wasn't <laughs> the best. It wasn't something to be happy about. She was totally mute. She couldn't speak. Um, he had a ton of tantrums, I'd say. He kind of shut him everything out of his world. He had problems banging his head front at and the back. playground. He would, um, he'd always be by himself. And he had some very odd behaviors and that were troubling. Basically, our family were just a big ball of stress and nerves. It's a hard life. It is called autism, a mysterious neurological disorder. It has no known cause and no cure. And the number of families it touches is growing in troubling proportions. It wasn't so long ago that autism appeared only once in every 5,000 births. Today, autism appears one in 500. Some surveys double that frequency, revealing one case in 250. Experts fear an emerging epidemic. Children with autism can exhibit severe behaviors. They can deliberately hurt themselves. There can be uncontrollable tantrums. Others suffer from epilepsy, sleeplessness, developmental delays, and mental retardation. But the most pervasive and most recognizable symptom of autism is a distant antisocial demeanor. Look into their eyes. People with autism seem to be lost in a world unto themselves, unreachable, locked away from normal social life. But the invisible barrier that isolates autistic individuals can sometimes be torn down. Hi. That is what ABC is all about. ABC, Applied Behavior Consultants, along with a growing number of behavior analysts nationwide, is dedicated to the humane treatment of autism through the principles of applied behavior analysis. Although not a cure, applied behavior analysis has been proven to be the most effective treatment yet for this disorder. We're not just providing treatment, we're affecting these kids' lives. We are affecting these kids from the day that they walk into our program to the day that they leave them. And if this is their chance, if we're going to be the agency that's going to serve them, then we're going to give them the best that we can. We have 100% of our kids within a year are appropriately asking for what they want rather than throwing tantrums or banging their head to get their way. Good job. And so we can offer them that. Things will be a, a better behaviorally. Without exception, I, I'm confident we can say that. Things will be better. Very good. Encouraged by the breakthroughs made by Ivar Lovas, ABC began providing early intensive intervention treatment in 1990. Fish. Good. The results were stunning. If you begin early enough uh, with these young children with autism, uh, two, three years of age, four years of age, if you do it intensively enough, 35, 40 hours a week of one-on-one, -on -one, and if you do it long enough, uh, two years, maybe even more, then some of the kids begin to function um, in ways that uh, are essentially the same as their peer group, their age, peer age group. Prior to applied behavior analysis, 95% of all children with autism were placed in institutions. The overall recovery rate was less than 1%. Armed with this new methodology, ABC is turning those numbers around, delivering a success rate of 40%. While all children benefit from ABA treatment, some benefit to a spectacular degree. We found that age is a critical factor. When these children enter our program before the age of 4.1, our data indicates that 40% of them will go back to regular education and fully function within the parameters of their typically developing peers. Meet Ryan. A series of home videos documents Ryan's six-year journey, guided by ABC with stunning results. Before treatment, Ryan exhibited typical behaviors. He screams and tantrums for the things he wants and needs. The first step in his treatment is to develop simple compliance. This is a critical phase in any child's education. Without some degree of compliance, 
further education is impossible. One, two, this is three, Ryan four. two years later. He now has a broad repertoire of skills and exhibits few, if any, negative behaviors. Show me a happy face, Ryan. The behavior consultant asks if he can demonstrate emotions like anger or fear. This is the first step in recognizing these emotions in others. Crucial to understanding the abstract concepts necessary for Ryan to interact in normal society. Four years later, Ryan is fully participating in regular public school classes. My name is Cupid. He plays the part of Cupid in the annual school play. By any standard, Ryan has made spectacular gains. Although he receives some special instruction in mathematics, Ryan spends most of his academic time in normal school with his typically developing peers. And Ryan is not an isolated example. Can my kids find you? He's at Natoma Station Elementary School, which is right around the corner. Hey, have a good day, all right? So he goes to school with Hi. all of our neighbors Hi. and his friends. Adam is blending into the school really, really well. He's, I, and I take that from if I hear a, another teacher or another parent um, say, I don't even know which kid in there is him because he blends in so well. If you were to see him or look at him, you, you would have no idea that he was autistic or had any problems. They have fun. I mean, he's normal. <laughs> he's just a normal six-year-old <laughs> now, <laughs> or it seems to be. At the heart of ABC's approach is a unique five-step generalization process. In the beginning, a very structured environment is critical. The goal is to develop simple, discrete behaviors. In this case, the child is learning to clap her hands on cue. When the child succeeds, her behavior is reinforced with something she wants, a piece of candy or a favorite toy, praise, or social reinforcers are always paired with the treats so that the good jobs, the hugs and the high fives will eventually come to replace the M&Ms and gummy worms. Once the child has developed a repertoire of behaviors, the technician will mix them up using a variety of prompts. The thrust of this phase is to exercise the child's repertoire in random patterns encouraging the child to understand those behaviors in more general terms. Very good. Where's your nose? Now it is time to teach the behaviors away from the table. Yeah, look, Using a variety of settings, the child learns good. to deal with distractions yes. without losing good. her focus. Whoever would like to match, clap your hands. Next, the child is placed in group settings. Skills and concepts are chained together and exercised within established daily routine. The final step in the generalization process is to teach these kids to initiate and respond in accordance to the social situation. What we mean by this is we no longer provide prompts or structured teaching for them to interact. They must be able to initiate their needs and wants and comment about the environment around them in the presence of peers and adults. Once they're able to demonstrate this, we know that they can fully function back in their neighborhood schools. ABBA, Applied Behavior Analysis, is taking all the things that we learn from the science of behavior analysis and putting them to use in trying to establish a more typical repertoire of the kids that we're dealing with. We want them not only to be able to ask for the things they want and need, but we want them to be able to talk about the world around them. We want them to find that their own brothers and sisters or their own children, uh, playmates at school are interesting people. We want them to try to please them to some extent as well as learning to please their parents because that's kind of what we mean by being part of a culture. Behavior Intervention Services was the genesis of ABC's success and remains the foundation upon which all other programs are built. The focus is on training. That's great. That is a very ABC offers group parent training as well as training and consultation to residential care facilities and day programs. ABC's Autism Services focuses on autism and autistic spectrum disorder. Hey, good boy. The in-home intensive intervention programs provide 35 to 40 hours of one-on-one -on -one therapy every week. 
The focus of this program is based on the individual child's needs and learning style, tackling those deficits that have interfered with the child's ability to interact with family or peers. The crown of Applied Behavior Consultants Operation is their school for autism. ABC has two campuses, one in San Jose, the other in Sacramento, California. The Sacramento campus has been intelligently designed for the autistic student body. Safe and secure, all the walls have been rounded to reduce the chances of injury. Colors are warm and inviting. Windows are placed high so that natural light is plentiful while outside distractions are limited. The classrooms are divided into different age and skill levels. As the students' skills improve, okay. they may graduate to what ABC Lucas. calls its transition class. What have we been talking about this week? Complete with group activities, social routines, and rigorous academic requirements that parallel traditional classrooms. But no matter where a student is in the process, their performance is closely scrutinized. Um, this is a sample of the data. This is from yesterday and today. Data is painstakingly compiled, carefully analyzed, and lesson plans constantly reviewed. That's the direction I'm thinking of moving in based on that data. It needs to be more functional. We use those data to make decisions, about educational decisions, about which direction to go or how to modify a particular technique to, to get the results we want. Change happens every day in these kids' lives. We see individual behavior change every single day. And that, and as long as I see change, and not stagnation, then I know that we are effective and I know that we are successful because every little step of change counts for these kids. Good job. Since 1987, ABC has been driven by a fundamental ideal. The client comes first. That ideal is reflected in dozens of innovative programs, a dedicated and highly trained staff, and state-of-the-art educational sites. At ABC, the best treatment available is merely the means to accomplish that ideal, improving the lives of each of its students and the lives of their families. As a parent, I know how frightening and um, frustrating PDD, autism can be. I know that I needed some place to go, someone to count on, and I put my faith in ABC School and really got what I needed from them. They were the most single defining factor in his entire life. Had he not been at ABC School, if he had not had the opportunity to be there, I, 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 I'm just scared to think of where he would be today. It won't be unhappy. It, it, it makes the hope become reality. Without the school and their help, I don't think he would be where he is today at all. At all. Everything has just been better than I could have dreamed of.